night, y'all. So your girl almost just passed out. I don't know how, but I got all these piercings and tattoos, but I don't know what happened. I almost passed out. I got two out of my IV. The doctor just marked me. And then we're gonna go in here and get our new body, baby. I'm gonna check in with y'all later. I'm cold. I'm really cold. I just got out of surgery. Just got out. I don't know what I look like right now. But I just want y'all to know that I'm okay. Now I'm trying to see the process. I'm really cold. I just got out. Not too long ago. Probably about 30 minutes, 30 hour ago. I'm not on any drugs. I just woke up from the anesthesia. I don't remember nothing. I just remember them holding my hand and I was gone. Trying to wake up. I'm going to check in with y'all when I get more stable. I'll talk to y'all later. better now i just woke up like officially it took me a while to get off those um the anesthesia they gave me so i'm excited to see my results i haven't seen anything yet but um i will talk to y'all here soon when i get out of the hospital bed oh. and i'm not in too much pain i'm just a little sore all right, y'all, so I'm finally able to talk normal. So I haven't seen my booty, I haven't seen my results. Once you get out of anesthesia, you have to sit up, you have to sit on your back because they are afraid that you may suffocate yourself. And as you could see in the state that I was just in, I would have definitely suffocated myself if I was laying on my belly. I'm not really in any pain whatsoever. Um, I just, I'm just tender and a little sore. Y'all know me, I have a high pain tolerance. Been through a lot, so pain pain feels good to me. I'm really excited about getting my massages. The whole process when I went in here, went in to get my surgery, basically was they walked me in there, they told me to sit down, and they told me that they were going to give me a shot in my back that was gonna make me go to sleep. I tell you, I didn't even feel the needle go in my back. I didn't feel nothing. I remember the guy, there was a guy standing in front of me holding me, telling me that it would be okay. And he said, you know, you're gonna go to sleep. And I guess once they put it in you, you don't feel nothing because you're going straight to sleep. And I remember us praying and I will meet praying and they were saying amen to my prayers. And I was out. And next thing I remember, I'm here, trying to wake up. I'm not in any pain, just sore. And I looked crazy trying to wake up. <laughs> My mouth is dry. They brought me in this hot tea. That's what I need to drink. Thank goodness, because I haven't drank anything all day. is what's been keeping me hydrated this whole time. And then they just gave me some pain medicine. So 
So I got my first meal. I don't know if I can sit all the way up or not. I'm not even gonna try it. I got soup. Okay, so they brought me my stuff. I just, <laughs> I know it's probably not gonna get stolen. I just, I'm used to my stuff coming up missing. And I honestly have all of my jewelry and money deep down in my bag. And I just don't know, I don't know. I just like to, I like to have my stuff with me. But I'm gonna try to eat, I guess. Cause I keep falling asleep, but I'm not going to get much sleep. I don't even know if I can sit up. I don't necessarily, I don't want to eat because I don't want to eat because I don't want to pee or have to take a shit. Fuck, now I got take ups. Oh man, oh man, oh fuck. My bowl, it was lit yesterday. I was talking about people, some people was getting lipo some people were getting lung tests done some people were getting cardiologist tests done other people was getting a butt the ass done other people was you know like we was back and forth everywhere yesterday it was lit <laughs> ow <laughs> ow <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh don't make me laugh Ooh. but y'all my ass is huge like it's humongous I could tell because my thighs, look. That's the most I can show you because <laughs> my coochie's sticking out right <laughs> down the bottom. My titties is out. But I can't stand up, so I really want to get my heating blanket. I'm going to try to get some sleep. Doing this test for my lungs to make sure my lungs are okay. Skin looks so damn good. Wow. <laughs> oh, I have no, I'm just looking. Can you look So they're clearing me to leave the hospital and I'm gonna go to the recovery house. My skin looks so good. I got my isolation gown on and my robe. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I feel fine. I'm just sore, of course. And I'm ready to get this healing process over with. I will check in with y'all tomorrow for my 
first well i guess this is my first day post-op but i'll check with y'all tomorrow for my second day post-op gotta have this fan honey get you a fan it'd be hot and ladies don't forget scare feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed hmm. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.